my God, look at the thing. It's actually... <laughs> we see a lot of collision damage Teslas, like these Model S's here, for example. And oftentimes we buy them to put them back on the road. Other times they're so far gone, like this particular one here, that they become strictly parts cars because it would, be not, it would not be cost effective to put them back on the road. But I'm gonna show you something that one of our engineers came up with that shows an enormous amount of innovation and creativity. And even though a Tesla Model S can be badly damaged like this, not cost effective to put back on the road as a Model S, can be repurposed for something completely different. And here you have it. What we have here is a Tesla Model S chassis that has the equivalent of a tiny home or recreational vehicle, whatever you'd like to call it. In this chassis, of course, you can see some of the Tesla Model S components. Uh, the engineer, by the way, is Marcus. He is the one that uh, came up with this innovation. And what you can see here is exquisite craftsmanship using basically lightweight plywood that has been uh, drilled in order to lessen the weight. This is a prototype version, so the final version is going to be made out of aluminum. So this is uh, representative of a wall section. This is for our trailerized version, so you've got a, a wider radius. But if you imagine this portion here in the production version would be a combination of steel and aluminum. So this is just uh, plasma CNC cut aluminum that's been anodized, a combination of black and clear, and then rolled, bent into shape, and then welded together. Now, this has all the comforts of home. If you notice here, we have a washing machine, and we've got a shower, and we have a sink, and we have a toilet. This is basically all the stuff you need in order to have either a home or an apartment. Inside here, come and join me. We have an oven, we have a cook surface, refrigerator, freezer, we have a sink right here, and of course we're gonna have a great picture window here, and since this is highly energy efficient, this will eventually be skirted with solar cells so that it becomes self-sufficient. Let's go for a drive. The look and feel of this at this point looks just like a Model S to me. We've got our 17 inch screen. We've got the uh, seats. These are uh, Tesla Model S seats. Uh, we're going to have a windshield that very much looks like the Model S. And uh, at this point, we're going to show you that this thing actually functions and can drive around. So let's go for a drive. What do you think, Marcus? Let's do it, Pete. All right. Now, the only thing is we don't have a power steering rack active at the moment. So this is a uh, a bit of wrenching the wheel, but mm -hmm. we're able to give it a test here. So what we had to do when we moved this entire dash assembly up was reconfigure the steering. So this is the original output shaft. Uh, we added a 90 degree bevel gear uh, to another 90 degree bevel gear in the back and back into the steering rack. So a lot of transitions to make this steering work. This is prototypic. Uh, but it, it gets, us, gets us maneuvering, step one. And of course, it's perfectly quiet like you would expect from a Tesla Model S. We have no exhaust noise. Now, picture yourself driving down the street with something like this, and at any moment in time, if you wanna go cook yourself a burger, if you wanna take a nap, if you need a shower, all of that's available to you. Just pull off the side, park, and take care of business. When we've got it going on the road, our slogan, we're thinking the, the fastest house on earth. That, that would be true. What uh, platform is this, by the way, KW? This is an S, uh, 75 kilowatt hour. A 75, yeah. okay. Dual motor or? Single motor in the rear. Okay, but we're still gonna step on it now and see what this recreational vehicle yes. can do. All right, let's go for it. Hold on. All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> Now this guy's probably going to freak out and say, what the hell is coming down the road here? <laughs> Very cool. Before we get to the street there. And without power steering, this wide swing is probably yeah. uh, much easier on your arms. Absolutely. It was fascinating. The uh, issue we were having with it the whole while had to do with the high voltage interlock circuitry. Oh, okay. Um, we had disconnected the heating element 
Uh, and output from the DC to DC converter to the heating element, there's a orange cable, high voltage cable, that needs to be connected for the vehicle to be able to drive. I see, okay. So when we fix that, we were then able to drive, and then the last, last bits of improvement have been connecting the steering. By the way, Marcus is one of our Tesla engineers, and he regularly works on Tesla vehicles. So this is right up his alley. Yes. So what are we going to have up here in this large open area? Up here, we'll have a sunroof. Okay. This is also your access to the roof bed. So there's this ladder that folds down, and you can climb up. The roof will pop up, and you'll have a twin-size mattress up above. Oh, how cool is that? And of course, this is just a prototype but you would have a ladder that can fold down. And then up above, you have a roof bed. So this portion of the roof will fold upwards or straight up. And then, you got a whole bed up here. Zoom. About enough space for two. It's a little tight, but Better, a lot better than a tent. We'll have larger, larger versions for larger chassis, of course. About a thousand watts of solar for all your living needs. Uh huh. And it rides very smooth. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this one's only got eleven thousand miles on it. Okay. Well, Marcus, thank you very much for this. Uh, Pete test drive and uh, you. we hope you enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned because this is going to start taking shape. If you want more information on this unusual vehicle, you can go to Gruber Motors on YouTube and we'll continuously post videos as to the progress of this vehicle. If you have any direct questions, you can email evie at gruber.com. Uh, we're more than happy to answer any questions you may have. And if any of you are interested in embarking on a project like this, We'd be more than willing to give advice and, and help with this. Absolutely.